Want to learn how to use a graphic to equalize light in Lumen Fusion? In this video, I will show you how to do it. Let's go! First up, I'm gonna give you the vocal EQ cheat sheet. Okay? So you, when you're playing game, right, you have a cheat sheet. You have a cheat or tricks to finish the game. In this video, first thing I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna give you the cheat sheet. So right here, I have here. It's been done by the Ultimate Vocal Formula. Okay? The website's not available anymore. Okay? So I got a wrap this from the internet. Okay, so you can see. Take a screenshot of it, okay? So you have your own record, okay? But uh, get it from those guys right there, Ultimate Vocal Formula, okay? So we're based on our EQ, based on this. So we have demystified what is graphic equalizer, okay? So with our human voice, right? There's some zero right here. To twenty thousand, okay, hertz, okay. That's our roughly what is our human, okay. What we can hear, okay. With the, with like animals like dogs, right? They can hear much higher pitch, okay. But for us, zero to twenty thousand is the that's that's our limit. Let's get back to Luma Fusion right now. So right now, this one I have done EQ already. So double tap on it. Show your graphic equalizer. So that's the from zero on this side here, right here, to 20,000 kilohertz. Okay. On this side here, around here, that is from 160 to 200, 220. That is most human vocal voice. Okay. So with that, because I'm a guy, so it's more if you want to increase your, your base. So you, you go back to the G sheet. Let's see you can pull out the G sheet. There you go, I have both, okay. So now it's easier. <laughs> okay. Yeah, both. Okay, so from 100 to 150, okay, you want to add warmth and fullness. Okay, as a male voice. That's what one you want to do, right? You want to add more basic to your your voice okay so 100 hertz to 150 hertz okay so that's what i do with this eq right here uh, the rest i will keep the same and on the top end right here right oh and always hold on my finger okay where i touch okay right there right phone 5,000 to 11,000 okay okay let's say here 6 from 6 from 3,000 to 11,000 that's, that's your treble okay so I'll try to increase that but not too much okay otherwise you change your voice so much and the bottom here right here right I just no one gonna hear you that uh, that, that kind of a voice so you just uh, don't kill it off straight away but you roll it off so that's what I did with this EQ here so let's have a listen before and after. Now this before, right? Let's have a look. I'm gonna turn off the. Uh, so I turn it off right there. Graphic equalizer, turn it off so you know before and after. Yes, my friend. Yes, my friend. Get this program. Learn it in one day. <laughs> okay. I have lots of. So now I turn on the EQ. For beginner. For beginner. So learn it. And you you know that hey, I don't need to go to. Can I explain that again? The answer, is the answer is absolutely yes, my friend. Get this program, learn it in one day. <laughs> okay, I have lots of tutorial for beginner, so much better. Okay, it's it's more clearer. Uh, the other one is more still more nasal or stuff like that. Okay, so that's how you do EQ to make it better, make your sound sounds a little bit better better okay but you don't want to change your voice your vocal completely okay you keep still want to keep it natural but just enhance it a little bit that's what you use EQ for so you go back to this one okay so you want to add warmth and fullness okay 
So you increase the high end, increase the high end, and where the where is basic for for a guy. Okay, so 100 hertz to 150, increase it a little bit, press in and open up a little bit upon the high end treble. Okay, that's what you gotta do, and don't try to manipulate too much. Okay, otherwise you're gonna change your voice. Sometimes people use the graphic equalizer to solve problems. Okay, try not to avoid that, please. <laughs> okay, get it in camera first. Okay, see, it's usually this wind noise, right? That's why you have the fur here. Okay, the wind fur in your microphone, or you go outside with your shotgun. There's a you know, big dead cat. Okay, so there's no wind noise. Okay, if you record in a an indoor environment, okay, air conditioner fan, turn it off, but sometimes you can't do it, that's why you use your EQ. So with that right, the bass here, okay, this level here, you roll it off, okay, and usually those are the low end, it should be fixed, it should fix it, okay, so you roll it off, that's kind of uh, noise, it's not too much prominence in your audio, okay, so roll it off and that should fix the problem similar to the high end as well that's when you roll it off and you get that but sometimes you get this kind of hiss in your recording okay that's where you go have to go through all the settings you go up and down like that to know which range is affected by that kind of hiss okay so you go you sweeping up and down like that okay so you know which one is affected and you adjust, you lower down or you, you lower down usually you, to fix problem you gotta lower that frequency down okay so that's how you fix problems you, you go one by one you, you listen to it make sure you have your headphone on then you sweep just go up go down go all the way down all the way up to hear if the hiss is prominent in that frequency range and if you found it you just lower it down Okay. And this is fixed, not completely, but it should help a little bit. It should help a lot actually. So that's how you fix some kind of his boss sound. You do that sweeping. But it's, there's no secret formula, okay? His sound is different, so you gotta do manually, unfortunately. But there's program there. I haven't checked it out yet, but that's how you fix it. Do another EQ, a scratch EQ, so you EQ, so you know. Okay, it's a blank EQ right now. So learn it, and you you will know that hey, I don't need to go to. The answer is absolutely yes, my friend. Get this program, learn it in one day. <laughs> okay, I have lots of tutorial for beginner, so learn it and you you will know that hey i don't need to go to the answer is absolutely yes my friend get this program learn it in one day <laughs> okay i have lots of tutorial for beginner so learn it and you you will know that hey i don't need to go to the answer is that's how you do okay you, you just look Slowly make it make your sounds sounds better. Okay, is it better better? Then double check. Okay, so this is before. Absolutely yes, my friend. Get this program, learn it in one day. Okay, now it's after. This program, learn it in one day. Okay, I have lost tutorial for beginner so. Before it was quite a nasal, okay, because I was using a, a this kind of, this microphone right here on my shoulder, okay. It's, it's a lovely mic, okay. So usually that's that's one give you it's more like a nasal kind of uh, feelings, okay. So that's what you do. You you try to fix a bad microphone, not a bad, but make it better. This one is alright, okay. But you want to make usually work most. Uh, lovely microphone, right? It's usually very, very, very gesty, okay? It's stuck on you. So, you, not like the one that I have right here, 
which is a shotgun microphone, and it's, that should help with your. It's, it's, it's a bad microphone for overall vocal, but for a lovely mic like this, uh, which I have, I have as a backup, you should have a backup always when you do your recording. It's a redundancy recording always with audio, okay? And what you found was, uh, yeah, it's kind of like nasal Z, nasal Z, okay? So it's in somewhere in the nose, somewhere. Then it sounds like that, yeah, it sounds like that, okay? It sounds like that. So that's why you use EQ to fix it, okay? Now, if you like what you did just then, okay, you can make a preset for your voice, okay? So, what you do, you go here. Okay, you go there. This plus sign. Click on it. Audio preset, okay? So, if I, I say EQ uh, Travis. Okay. And next time you want to use it, Okay, because then the next time you want to use this on this one. Okay, for now it's uh, the EQ. It's nothing, right? But you can add uh, your own EQ right here. Go to the star. Okay, EQ Travis down the bottom here. Click on it. Okay, EQ Travis right there. Tap on it. And the graphic equalizer is there. So that's how easy it is to, to do a pre a, a preset. So it saves a lot of time. Okay, when you do this kind of thing. Okay. Before we go, okay, before before we finish, I'm gonna give you a tip of how to use this properly. Okay. So, so since we have the preset ready, right? So yeah, before you do all your cutting, right? <laughs> so all this cutting has been done. So you want to make a an EQ adjustment to each clip. It's gonna take a lot of time. What you do is, okay, right now, Luma Fusion doesn't have uh, adjustment on the track. Okay, you can't adjustment, can't do adjustment on the track. So this is the main, my main track right here. Okay, I can't do adjustment. Okay, to the track. So. There's another way you can go about it. You do it first before you uh, you make an adju adjustment first. Okay. For example, okay, that's the brand new clip. Okay. You make an adjustment right here on this this one here. Okay. You got your EQ. Apply EQ. Now it's all there. Okay. Then you do your cutting, okay. But it only works when for your for your a, a talking head like this, okay. It doesn't work when you have a lot of clips and you put together. That's where you have to do clip by clip, unfortunately, okay. My name is Trevor Chow. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you find the video useful for you. Also, check out my playlist. There's a lot of great content there for you. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.